Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this video about how to get started with soldering. So this should apply to anyone who has a broken cable, some contact point that you have to redo or something on a circuit board, because this is really the basics on how to get started with it. I'm gonna be using this guy, this is Jose. We're gonna Hola. be using him as an example. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Joshua, I'm actually from Belgium. I'm an artist and I live in Spain. This is the first video in which you can see probably almost the finished result of my recording room. So I'm happy to show that to you. And if you want to see more DIY art or things about living in Spain, make sure to click all the right buttons, subscribe if you want to see more. But let's jump into this video about soldering. So now that by complete accident, he stopped working and we have some cables to fix. The first question is, well, what do we need? Of course, a soldering gun, some flux. A lot of people mistake this for grease, but no, this is flux and it has one function and it is to spread the heat better while soldering. Okay. Some soldering material, of course. We have a little third hand here, very, very useful if you need to do a lot of soldering, just like me. Of course, some cutting pliers and some strippers. These I can definitely recommend. This is one of the best tools to have when you need to work on a lot of cables. We have a heat gun. This is simply for our heat tubing. This goes over the cables and then it contracts so that everything is nicely sealed off. So when getting started, of course, you know, our soldering gun takes some time to heat up. So I always dip it into the flux so that it spreads a bit better the heat. I do this several times when starting and cleaning the tip as well. And of course, while it's heating up, we can start on some preparations. So again, once heated up, some fluxing, and as you can tell, definitely make sure to have proper ventilation. So to clean, I just use a bit of a wet rag nothing abrasive so you have a nice clean tip and then again flux and you can really start soldering and of course make sure to slide on your heat tubes before you do the soldering And so yeah, that's how our first uh, soldering point is looking like. Not bad, eh? Nice. The second one is a bit harder, so I just placed a little dot in the middle and then I kind of push everything into place when it comes to the cable and then we do the rest bit by bit, trying not to make it loose again. There we go. Dare I say that this looks more than okay? So technically you could just do some electrical tape, but I never use that since you're already doing the effort of soldering. Get some of these tubes, we put this just straight over it. We shrink it, we put another one on top and it's just the perfect isolation and it's also very clean in the end. Now for the purpose of the video, I'm not gonna put another tubing over it. Normally I would, but as you can tell, this is a very clean, proper fix. So let's get on with the next one. So our next fix is this. So I also cut off the cable to the LED controller. As you can see here, it has slots for the cable to go into. And if there is one thing that I really dislike, is it when people do something like this, for example, let me show you. So they just, strip the cable off and they twist it and then it goes in there you have to keep in mind all of this this gets squished this becomes loose all these threads break and in the end you're going to be stuck with something like this so let me show you how i solder these tips so just a bit like before you know make sure to have nice clean tips and strong cable inside then we strip it and with this tool you can just strip all three or even five of them depends a bit on which cables now i do twist them like this 
and then I solder the tips just for some extra strength and durability. And so another small tip, when you are soldering, solder as far away as you can from the isolation. Your soldering material can just run down a bit, just try not to burn the plastic. And as you can tell, these tips, of course, I shouldn't be applying too much force. See, these are small cables, but this is much more strong, much more durable, and much more better for these little screw-in contacts that you have in a lot of LED controllers and other applications. Now, in all honesty, for things like that, I would really recommend something like this, but I'm gonna make another video about doing much more detailed and professional soldering because this one is really just about the basics. Let's see if, uh, if our buddy fires up again. Okay, so we have fix number one, fix number two. Let's see if our trusty buddy Jose, Hola. if he's still working, let me find his hat. He needs his hat. One second. Fingers crossed. Okay, so my workshop buddy Jose is working again. His enlightened mind is turned back on. And yeah, I really like the piece. Let me know in the comments what you think about this little thing in the jiggy here. And yeah, both our fixes did the job. So this is working great. This is working great. And I've said before, I'm gonna show you also how to solder on an LED strip. It's the same for a circuit board so that you guys also know a bit the basics about that. So the beginning is the same, cleaning the tips, preparing the cables, and then soldering it onto the LED strip. So I'm just gonna use the little cable that was a leftover from the shell before as an example to attach one to another. So trust me, this isn't burnt. This is how it looks when you use a lot of flux and it hasn't been cleaned yet. Leave that on, do the cables, and then clean off the flux. And so now because of our third hand, basically it's just laying on top of each other. So just with a small touch up, they should connect and that's it. As I said. Ta -da. And that's how that is looking. So I yeah, always make sure to clean up these uh, sharp little edges. But that's gonna be it for this video because well, even though these soldering points are quite strong, that, that, really these were on, these were on, yeah. Yeah, quite strong, but not very professional looking and also not splash proof. This is all good just for some basic soldering. Again, that's what the video is about. It's just the pure basics. So that's why I'm gonna make a second video, a much more detailed video about soldering, using other endpoints, using other isolation, making them splash proof. And I'll show you that the next time. So make sure to subscribe, follow, leave a like, leave a comment. Thanks for watching the entire video. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye, ciao, adios.